cuties welcome back to my channel so i might look a little crazy um and look really pale because <laughs> i only have foundation on um and i have my hair in a bun because today's bun day i just want my hair in a bun today um but for today's video, we're going to be playing with the new 24-hour Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealers by NYX Cosmetics. I am so excited to try these concealers um, because as soon as I saw that they were going to come out with these, I was like, I have to have them. You guys all may know that I already use their NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation, which I absolutely love, love. And I've been using this a lot for like work days, like during the week, and I'm obsessed. So then I saw that, that they were coming out with the concealers, and I was like, oh my god like I need to play with these I had originally gone to Ulta and when I went to go get the concealers there was like no like light shades like none at, at all there was like a few but I feel like they were more for like a darker complexion and I'm super pale and white so none of them um, would complement my skin tone so I was like let me just or I swatched them in stores the ones that I felt like were my shade um, because they had testers there. So then I went online and I just ordered my shade um, And then I did get this color there in stores. I got the um, Mahogany this is to contour to cream contour and then for highlight I got alabaster um, So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you on my hands so you guys can see them and look at the applicator Ooh, This applicator is so cool. Like it kind of goes like this That's so awesome to fit like perfectly underneath your eyes now I'm really excited to use these. So I haven't played with these at all, you guys. Um, I just opened this one up because I wanted to see the color. Um, so here's this shade. Ooh, it's super full coverage, it feels like. Um, so this right here. So it's not too orange and not too red, which is what I like and when it comes to a concealer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start to apply my concealer. Um, let me read really quick what's online. It says, play in high sculpt with our new Can't Stop Wall Sub Concealer, available in 24 highly pigmented shades. Um, this lightweight liquid won't transfer hmm. and has three major complexion must cup. What? It has three major complexion musts covered. Can, uh, you can use a blendable matte formula to camouflage imperfections, brighten up your face, and contour those areas to perfection. This creamy multitasker also delivers full coverage with a finish that lasts up to 24 hours. I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours, but I will be doing clients today and running to the store for last minute errands, so I'll definitely be wearing this, mostly throughout the whole day. Um, pair with our long wear concealer that it's complimentary can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation and powder so i didn't get the powder because there was not any in stores and then i found that the powder is more like of a um, glow powder um not so much of a matte powder so i didn't pick that up um and i already have a lot of setting powders and i just really wanted to try the concealer um but i'll gastar the mask you know so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer and I'm just gonna do it like, ooh, it does feel like it's gonna be full coverage. I can already feel it. So I'm just gonna do that right there. I'm gonna place just a little bit on my forehead, down my nose. To blend it out, I'm going to use my beauty sponge and I'm going to just take the product and run it down off like this. Alright guys, so automatically it's it's full coverage. <laughs> For sure it's full coverage and it does feel like not so heavy at all. It feels very lightweight. Like I feel like I don't really have anything on. Of course, I want to wait to see once I apply like my setting powder. The reason why I do put my concealer like this is just because it provides, for me, I don't want a lot of concealer under my eyes. So just applying it right here kind of makes my nose look slimmer too. And I take it all the way back here and blend all the product. And it doesn't feel like I have so much. So this feels good. So it does dry. I feel like it dries pretty fast. So you definitely have to work with it pretty fast. All right, guys, go ahead and blend out the concealer. Like, it honestly feels really good. Like, it doesn't feel super heavy or cakey. Um, and I feel like it really... It's, I think it's full coverage um, on me personally. And of course, you can definitely build this up, but I feel like this is a pretty good amount for me. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and start to contour and use the shade Mahogany. And let me grab my 
contour brush. And you know, with this, I always do it on the back of my hand first, and then I just pick it up with the brush. This is the Real Techniques, I think it's the face, yeah, Expert Face Brush. And the reason why I do this is because I don't like a lot of product. Like, I don't like applying the concealer onto my skin. I like to use this brush, so that way I'm not putting on too much product. Uh, with the remaining product, I just take it into my cheek, into my cheeks like this. And blend upwards. Ooh, that's pretty. And of course, you can always build up more if you want to. I just don't. I'm working today, so I don't want to be super snatched. <laughs> and I just want to see how this would feel like when I'm a, just a regular day, you know? Um, of course, if you want to go super more glam, you can add more. So, so far, you guys, I'm really liking the formula of these concealers. Like, they're blending out really well. Like, they're not staying in one place. And because this is the brush that I do use to blend out my contour, my cream contour, I'm really liking the way that this color looks on me. Like, what do you guys think? I really like this color. It's like my beauty sponge. I'm just going to blend everything so that way it doesn't look super harsh. Now I'm going to take this brush called Ellie Maya, it's a nice pink little brush, and I'm going to just warm up to contour my nose a little bit. Alright guys, so this is the concealer all blended down to my skin. Now, I actually really like it. Um, the only thing though is that I am noticing that on the sides of my nose, it did tend to like separate a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to add some powder really quick and just blend it out with my beauty sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my whole face really quick for you guys and then I will be right back. Alright guys, so I went ahead and applied my whole face. So I did bronzer, I also applied blush and highlight and my lashes. Um, so I really like the way that the concealers look, especially the contour one and the highlighting um, shade. The only thing though is that I am noticing the separation on my nose. Um, um, so I don't know what's going on um, because I did exfoliate and I also did my nose strips so I don't know if maybe it's the foundation or the concealer um, because the foundation never did this to me so maybe it is the concealer maybe it just it's just a little bit too matte that it's grabbing onto my dry patches is the only thing that I can think of um, but it's not horrible, but I'm not liking it, but it doesn't feel too dry under my eyes. And my eye, my fine lines are doing okay, like they're not horrible. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this concealer on you guys for the rest of the day and I will do some check-ins for you guys so you can definitely give me, so I can definitely give you guys my final thoughts on the concealer and then maybe I'll try the concealer again maybe with a different foundation. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just wear it throughout the whole day and let you guys know what I think. So I will keep you guys in touch. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the concealer. It is currently 7.09 p.m. So I've had this concealer on since 10 a.m. Um, and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to do a um, like a check-in in, in between. It's just because I've been doing clients' lashes all day today, so I've been a busy girl. <laughs> but I will say that my husband actually popped in around like one, two-ish um, in the afternoon from work, and he was like, he complimented on my skin. He was like, I really like the way your skin looks like right now. Like, what are you doing? Or what did you put today? And I'm like, honestly, I'm just trying out a new concealer. And he was like, I really like it. I really like the way that your skin looks right now. And I'm like, well, okay. It's actually all NYX Cosmetics, um, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation, and I'm trying their new concealers. And he's like, oh yeah, I really, I feel like it looks really pretty and it doesn't look too heavy. And I'm like, oh, so what are you trying to say that I wear heavy makeup? <laughs> Um, but anyway, so if you get a compliment from your husband, that's definitely a good sign. Um, but no, you guys, I really enjoy the concealer. I feel like I really love this color, the um, mahogany um, color to bronze my skin. I feel like it looks really pretty and it didn't move like at all. Like I still, I don't see any patches on my sides of my cheeks at all. Like I just feel like it really blended really well into my skin and I feel like I look really bronzy and just like alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so I really enjoyed this to contour. Um, the concealer, I really do like it. I feel like the only thing is that it's a little bit like on the heavy side. Um, because it is full coverage in my opinion it's full coverage um, and 
I feel like it did settle into my fine lines just right here though, like right underneath my lower lash line. Um, but this section right here still looks really good. Like it didn't separate or budge. Like it still looks really pretty and I feel like it would still last me a couple of more hours. Um, and then I also noticed that I did still separate right here on my nose. Um, so, but it doesn't look bad unless you really look close to, like closely, um, but that's still gonna bug me. And so just make sure if you do have dry skin, um, be aware this might gravitate towards your dry patches um, I just feel like that's what it happened to me right now with my nose um, but everywhere else normally this is the area that I tend to separate um, like towards the end of the night um, with concealers or anything like that or foundation um, and this did not budge so it still looks really good but I do honestly really like this concealer I feel like it did a really good job with holding up um, and yeah I think I'm just gonna try a different foundation and maybe apply this um, around my nose area or maybe I just applied too much product right there that normally happens when I apply too much concealer it tends to dry a lot more or maybe I just need to moisturize a little bit more <laughs> um, but no you guys I really enjoyed this concealer so much um, and I will definitely be using this again so definitely give them a go um, I mean they're only eight dollars and 95 cents so it's still a really affordable concealer and I love how NYX cosmetics has such affordable products um, and they actually do a really good job especially the foundation I I love the foundation so much um, so yeah you guys I definitely recommend the concealer comment down below let me know if you have this concealer and if you have already tried it let me know if you like it so far and of course don't forget you guys to subscribe to my channel if you have not and hit the notification bell so that way every single time that I upload a new video it does notify you um, and what else oh yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and comment down below let me know what other products you want me to review I love you guys so much Bye souls and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!